The country that we are going to learn today, we will talk about the country of people. The country you see here, they call the country of people, or we have uh, the similarity of people. And this country, as you see here, we have uh, the Onyomi reading and the Kunyomi reading. But first, we are going to see how to pronunciation about the Onyomi reading. So let's pronunciation together. Jin, Jin, Nin, Nin. The name is uh, learn how to pronunciation the Kung Yumi reading. So let's say together. Hito, Hito, Hito is. Uh, from the Kung Yumi reading. So every time you learn Japanese kanji, you have to remember for the reading and the meaning. It's really important. If you don't know how to read the uh, Kung Yumi reading and the Ong Yumi reading, that um, you uh, when you learn Japanese kanji, it's very difficult for you. So please remember. And uh, one more important thing is mean the meaning of the kanji. So let's see the meaning of this kanji. This kanji had the meaning uh, that uh, people or person. So every time you see this kanji, what you have to imagine first is mean that what is this kanji meaning? It had the meaning of people or person. So even you don't know uh, the, how to read the kanji, but if you know the meaning, then you understand the meaning of the word. So this is very really important. And the next, we will see how to uh, use this kanji to make a uh, word in Japanese language. The first, we will learn how to uh, use the onyomi reading to uh, make word in Japanese language. And as you see here, we had the word Ninki 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 is mean popularity or public favor. As you see here, we had a magazine. So which magazine is popularity in your society? So you will know well, more than anybody. And for this kind of for this word, the first kanji is read uh, nin is mean people and the second kanji is read ki ki is mean mind or heart so when you put uh, the people and the heart together that mean popularity so in this word it mean popularity or public favor kyo jin Kyo Jin. Kyo Jin is mean giant or great man. The first kanji uh, Kyo is mean. It has the meaning of big or great. And the second kanji is mean people. So when you put the uh, big two people, this mean big people or great people. So in this case, we can translate like giant or great man. Ningyo 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 is mean door or puppet. Door or puppet. The first kanji is mean people, nin. And the second kanji is read uh, gyo. The kanji of gyo is mean uh, the form. So when you see the thing uh, had a form, uh, the form and people that mean the form like people that mean uh, popular or dog. 
because it don't have a life like, but it just have a uh, form uh, similar to people so you can say dog or puppy in this case they translate to be puppy or dog the next uh, we will learn about how to use the pronunciation of Kung Yumi reading the Kung Yumi reading as you see here we have the word Hito 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 is mean man or person or people or human being as you see here so please remember this word when you want to say people or man you can say Hito Koibito Koibito When you say faster, you can say Koibito 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 is mean lover or sweetheart If you are, you are, the, if you are the boy, when you say to uh, the girl, that means boyfriend or girlfriend, we can translate it like, if you like it. And, and in this word, they say koi bito. Koi is mean love. This kanji has the meaning of love. So when you put the love and the uh, person or the people, that means love people. So that means uh, lover or sweetheart or boyfriend or girlfriend like this Hito Bito Hito Bito Hito Bito is mean people or everybody around you when you don't want to uh, specify for anyone's name you just say Hito Bito is mean people the normal people or the gen general people or everybody around you. If this kanji also have the uh, special reading, for the special reading, it doesn't have in Ongyumi reading or Kumyumi reading, but you have to remember because it is the special reading. Are you seeing here we have the word? Otona 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 is mean adult In this word, uh, for the first kanji Oto is mean big or the big thing and for the second kanji is mean people so when you put big plus people, they mean big people so is mean the, the uh, uh, an adult, right? So in this case, we translate to be an adult. An adult is mean you are 18 years old up, not 18 years old down. So that means anyone who have the age of 18 years old, that means you are autona in Japanese language. So remember, Otona is being 18 years old. Um, Hitori. Hitori. Hitori is being alone or one person. The first kanji, Hito, is being one. And the second kanji, Li, is being people. So we put one plus people, that means one people. Or you can say one person or alone. Futali 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 is mean two people. The first kanji Futa it has the meaning of two. And the second kanji Li is mean people. When you put two plus people, that mean two people. So in this case, we have the meaning two people and thank you very much for watching my video clip if you have any question please comment below i will be happy to answer your question 
And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please help me subscribe my channel. I hope to see you about learning Japanese language kanji in next time. Arigatou gozaimashita.